Right, I'll tell you something that really gets me. It makes me mad. I just watched that Boris Johnson on the TV. My goodness, that guy needs a haircut. For goodness sake, you're supposed to be Prime Minister. What's going on? Oh, don't get me started. Anyway, we're going to look at uh, how to add decimals. And I'll tell you another thing that makes me mad is people who don't use column addition properly. And if you don't, you need to learn how to. You need to look at another one of my wonderful videos in order to do column addition. But I'm saying that if you can't do these two sums in your head, please use column addition. It's the best method. I love it. As long as I get it right. Anyway, we're going to look at two other methods. One's called rounding and one's called partitioning. And what this means is that you have to look at these numbers really carefully. For example, that 32.99, oh, that's so close to 33 pounds. Makes me mad when shopkeepers do that. When they put everything as 99, I have to have all this change in my pocket. Anyway, those two numbers we can add up if we if we round them. And we're going to round them up. So 32.99, you think of it as money. 32.99 will round up to 33 pounds. And then we can round up 25.99 to 26 pounds. And that makes things a lot easier. But don't forget, you've got to take what you've rounded up, you've got to take it off. So we can add up 33 and 26, and that will make 59. I said that will make 59. Yeah, thank you. And we have to remember that we've knocked off two pence. One pence from 32.99 and one from 25.99. So we've got to uh, take those off because it's not actually 59 it's 58 98 okay and if this was money you could put a pound sign in front of it and if you gave me 58 98 i would say thank you very much now partitioning what does that mean well partitioning means splitting things up doesn't it if you if you have a partition in your house it means like you've built a wall between you and your brother or your sister maybe so a partition is something that splits numbers up okay why did you just underline rounding come on we're now talking about partitioning okay so these two numbers 6.08 and 18.81 and for some reason we're still pointing to the previous one i'm so sorry anyway that's rounding we've done that move on move on yes yes move on move on finish Move on. Move on. Thank you. Right, partitioning, as I was saying. 6.08 plus 18.81. What you need to do... Why are you pointing to column addition? What you need to do is to um, look at those numbers and see if your life is easy. Now, you might think that adding decimals is never very easy, but look, 6 and 18, I think you can do that. 6 and 18 is going to be 24. Are going to write that down by any chance? So, partitioning means looking at the individual bits of each number. And 6 and 18, we can add up. We can make 24. So, partitioning means sort of taking it apart like this. And then we're going to take the 0, 08 and the 0, 0.81, and we're going to add those two together. We could even partition further and add the 0 and the 8, and then the second eight, the eight hundredths and the one hundredth, and that will give us 0.89, and therefore the answer is 24.89, I think. Yes, it is. Um, now, what I'm saying is, if you have any worries about going wrong here, then uh, use column addition. But you can see that the zero tenths and the eight tenths will add together and the eight hundredths and the one hundredth will add together without you actually having to do any extra work. So it's possible to do it mentally. Can't do it mentally? Go to column addition, as I've said about 15 times already. So I'm going to go around it 15 times in red, just to remind you. And I'm also going to underline things in red. I don't know why. Goodbye.